Charles Krauthammer is considered an intellectual on the right, even though he's a clown. And this week, uh, he gave us this awesome clip, which you're about to watch, where he manages to get virtually everything wrong about the Democrats. You know, for all the talk of splits within the Republican Party and that they can't herd the cats on health care or tax reform, there is a, just a major split in the Democratic Party. And they have no idea how to resolve it. The left has the energy. They also have the leadership. They have him. They obviously have a senator from Massachusetts, Warren. And, you know, the, they're the ones who are leading the conversation. But, you know, if they want to go that way, that's Kool-Aid. This country is historically, for 250 years, has not taken kindly to socialism. That is essentially what he is offering. They think it's their moment. They're going to go, for example, I think, for single payer and health care, which is a fairly radical idea. Uh, and if they pursue the Sanders route, particularly if they have another party, a people's party, that will destroy the Democrats and it will give a very unsteady and split Republicans uh, a new lease on life, which is what they really need. This is very self-destructive, which means it's very capital D democratic. I almost think he's trolling us because nobody could be that stupid. I mean, does Charles believe that? He might not believe that. He might. You know what it might be? It might be him saying... Uh, oh, Democrats, you need to go the Hillary route to win. That's the only way you can win, is try to be more like Hillary Clinton again and be very corporate and stuff. Because if he says that and the Democrats go in that direction, then the Republicans keep winning. So it could be like a trolling trick where he's like, oh, wow, if you go in the direction of Hillary, you are going to kick our Republican asses. So, I don't know, maybe he's doing that, but if he's not doing that, then it's even sadder, because then he's just the worst political analyst I've ever seen in my life. Because <laughs> we've had the model that he likes of Democrat. We've had the center-right corporate establishment Democrats, and the Democrats have lost over a thousand seats. So, I, they're wiped out from coast to coast, having done the model that Krauthammer's like, yeah, that's the best model. So the empirical evidence is there. Bernie Sanders is the most liked politician in America right now. 61% favorability rating. Donald Trump's uh, favorability is 35%. Hillary Clinton's is 35%. Bernie nearly doubles them. Bernie goes to deep red states and gets standing ovations from Trump voters who are on the side of Medicare for All and free college and uh, a living wage I mean, this is the stuff Bernie fights for, a new New Deal. He gets thanked by Trump voters for fighting for the people. So, uh, there's, not, there's no question. People need to stop pretending like this is a 50-50 debate or that the Hillary side is correct. You're wrong. You lost to a reality star buffoon who bragged about grabbing women by the pussy. Quote, I don't even wait. So if you lose to that guy, that's it. Strike one, you're out. You're done. You step aside. Go find something. Go b pick up a hobby or something. Go play some pogs. Use a Tamagotchi. Go sit out. Go sit in the corner. What are you doing? You're no longer welcomed at the table with the big boys where we're having real conversations about real issues. So, um, let's, I just want to tackle two more things he said there real fast because I found it hilarious. He, for, you know, for so many years, this country is, has not been kind to socialism. Excuse you? What's the most popular uh, government programs in the United States? Social Security and Medicare. Those are socialist programs. Those are government programs. By the way, the military is also socialist. It's the government. The government obviously runs it. It's not a private mercenary army. It's the government. Firefighters, uh, cops, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, unemployment insurance. Try taking away people's unemployment insurance and see how much they love socialism. The list goes on and on. Child labor laws... This country doesn't, isn't kind of socialism. What the fuck are you talking about? FDR. They needed to invent term limits to kick out FDR. Because his social democratic ass was so popular that the Republicans like, never again. We can't, we gotta kick these people who are, uh, social democrats. We're gonna have to kick them out of office. We need term limits because they'll keep winning. 
because their ideas are so fucking popular. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The most popular uh, things in the country are socialist programs. So spare me. And then uh, he goes, single payer is a radical idea. If it's radical, then again, why is Medicare is a single payer system for elderly people that we have in this country? And it's wildly popular and it gets better ratings than any other uh, program. So that's radical, then why do a majority of people like it? If a majority of people like it, that means it, the, it's right in the center of the country. It represents most people, that's the center of the country. Every other modern nation has one version or another of single payer. So, no, what's radical is what you want, Charles. What you want, a crazy, for-profit, uh, private health insurance system with rapacious middlemen who rob you and deny you care as much as possible. That's radical. You're radical. People who just want healthcare to be a right, like it is in every other modern nation, and they want our tax dollars to go towards paying for people's healthcare as opposed to blowing up random people overseas, that's rational and reasonable and moderate and centrist. We're the only modern country that doesn't have a, a version of single payer. So, but this is the this is the Fox News bubble and the right-wing fantasy land of, they're radical, Medicare for all so radical. Except all the facts say the opposite, but yes, keep talking out of your ass. Again, I want to reiterate, this is the guy who people on the right say is an intellectual. <laughs> if that's an intellectual, imagine what their dumbasses look like.